game? Do you ever feel the same? Linus Alice was actually a beautiful surprise. It's a beautiful city. Um, I didn't know what to expect, and that was my first. And I was pleased by how modern it was, by how contemporary it was. It's a it's a college town, I guess, more or less. Lots of young people, um, and there's kind of one area, and this is where Turtle lives, that is a very nice boulevard. It's main commercial boulevard with lots of residential areas kind of branching off of it. And um, it's very livable. You know, so I, under, I kind of understand where uh, Turtle is coming from in terms of wanting to live there, where everything is available. Um, like there's stores like Whole Foods and things like that, which, you know, here are unheard of. And we're used to this back in the States. And so it was really, I felt relaxed and I felt like, well, I could get whatever I want here. It's not that I could get, I can get whatever I need here, yeah. but I can get whatever I want there. So it's kind of a quality of living thing. And Cuenca is, I think, growing in where I can get more and more of what I need. Now that they've kind of cut off those tariffs, the prices of liquor are going down. So it's, it's more, I don't feel deprived here as much as I used to. Mm -hmm. And so, so going to Colombia, I noticed, well, yeah, there's things, but not really things that I really need that I can't get. So I, it opened my eyes a little bit. Then when I went to uh, Minas Alice, it was like commercial heaven. Uh, it's retail heaven. Um, it's a beautiful city. I still like Minas Alice and I could consider living there. The temperature, the climate's much like here. Yeah. Hillier though. Hillier. Hillier. So you're walking tad up and down those all the time. Yeah. yeah, it might be a tad warmer, which actually would be good, I think. You kind of have to plan, do I want to walk up this hill or do I want to walk longer where it's less steep? So choosing where you live is going to be a big thing. And, and for me, that's a big thing because that second place that, or the first apartment that I had was up a hill, you know, from Las Americas. Mm -hmm. And coming home, I'd always have to walk up that hill five blocks, you know, to and from the bus, which I really didn't like after a while. You know, I'll have to have to measure that if I decide to live there. If you live on or, or just because there's nice neighborhoods, you know, off the strip and there are buses that take you to the big malls. There's no big malls there, but there are big malls. And then there's an area that's kind of up above, like a vantage point above the city, which is amazing. I mean, it, you could go there. I could see going there once every week or two weeks, just hanging out, right looking thing. at the view. Yeah. I mean, you see the mountains for just miles and miles and miles. It's kind of like, like almost a little bit ethereal because you see the clouds kind of covering the mountains. That's beautiful. And that's a really a great aspect of Monticello's. But then the rest of Monticello's, like the city central, is not as nice as Cuenca. It's kind of a dumpy place where I'm sure there's a lot of crime and I felt like I was going to like to cover my pockets walking around and there were no really attractive stores and it's very crowded and people just hanging around that you wouldn't associate with. Well, one thing I noticed that was, I really liked and I think Turtle likes it too. Pe people are just friendly, naturally will say hello on the street, but it's not mandatory and it's it's not a politeness thing. Um, and the cleanliness of the place, like the mindfulness of the Colombians, it just, it's a more mindful of their environment. And uh, this is true in, in Medellin also, but on Sundays, they close the main boulevard and you can just walk the main boulevard and people come out with their dogs. And it's like, it seems like a parade or a contest. Everyone dresses up their little dog. On leashes. <laughs> on leashes you know, to look great. And, but they treat their animals so much. They treat their animals as pets. You know, there are not packs of dogs wandering around. Or dog crap everywhere. Or dog crap everywhere. And, but, and the people are just more, and maybe it's, I don't know how, you know, what the cause and effect is, but um, people are just more, seems to me more congenial, you know, 
and um, and because because they treat their animals well, there's kind of like an energy that goes with that. That's part of the culture. That's a higher level of I don't know what the word is, but kind of respect for life or whatever you want to call it. Um, just a social norm. It's just a higher level, um, and that might just be because of influence of Western culture in Colombia is probably greater than it is here or has been in the past. Yeah. Well, I went to Manizales and I went to Medellin, and but I took the bus all the way there and back. Um, but so you did some window shopping. Did yeah, uh, but I mean stopped in Cali for a night, but that's you know just stayed at a. Right by the bus station. Oh, yeah. So um, that was, I didn't get to see Kali. And I do want to see more of Colombia. But I also want to go back and see more of Manizales, maybe go to Armenia. I did go to Pereira. Uh, I went with Tom, just took a bus to Pereira. He showed me the. Did you have any opinion or, or. Of Pereira? Yeah. Well, all we did was we went to the Costco there, or the oh. Costco analog, owned by Costco. And. Uh, and then we took, we just had a taxi driver drive us around because uh, he knew like the neighborhoods to show me. So it was really hard to tell. But again, Pereira is not the kind of climate that I want. That still is more, more of a yeah. uh, tropical type of climate. So I knew I wouldn't want to live there. And that coming into Pereira just seemed like it was more of an industrial city. So did you come to any conclusion at all? I realize you're still looking, but yeah. come to any conclusion? That it's still a possibility. So I need to research it more. Being there, being in Manizales for a week or 10 days and being in, in uh, Medellin for two weeks isn't wasn't enough scouting. Um, I didn't get a chance to really feel what it would be like to live there or even get a sense. I was really a tourist. Um, there, you know, one of the other things that I noticed and that I was interested in is the gringo population in both of those cities. There's not a measurable one that I know of in Manizales, and I think there's a new and growing one from what I've heard and talking to the people that I met there in Medellin. And it's becoming so more and more. Is it really? Yeah. Well, Medellin is huge, so exactly. there's not a concentrate, there's no community. El Poblado is, and Morales are the places, but they're, they're spread out, yeah, and a lot of them live up in the surrounding hills. Okay. Because it's a little cooler. Okay. Uh, rents can be better. Okay. Well, there's not like an organized community with close ties or, or regular communication like there's here. Although there are people there that are creating that. So, mm -hmm. you know, who knows what it'll, it'll be like in a year. And that's not something that is imperative for me, but it's coming here to Cuenca, it was very reassuring to know that something like that was here. Going to a new place, I don't really need that, I don't think, but it's nice to have. So I think what I need to do in my plan is to go back, spend more time there, maybe two or three months, maybe go also uh, to Armenia. <laughs> okay, I won't say that. Um, but, but, but really visit that, you know, the Coffee Triangle is really the only interesting place in Colombia that I would want to live. And so I'm going to go back and visit um, and Medellin is a possibility. Um, but the other thing I'm thinking of, uh, depending upon many factors, but is maybe spending six months in Cuenca and six months in Colombia. And I can make that six months in Medellin or three months in Medellin and three months other places or whatever I want and having the flexibility to do that and you know whether I can logistically do that have an apartment here that I can either rent out you know or just not worry about it and rent a place Airbnb. either place yeah. that but that'll be more expensive and I like having an apartment so it all depends you know if I really like Medellin or I really like Manizales and I really want to live there for six months then I'll figure it out one of the reasons, I, as I mentioned, was I was kind of getting tired of Cuenca. Like, I wanted something new. I wanted to explore what was out there. And actually, when I returned, I really appreciated what is here in Cuenca. Um, just how safe it is. And you can walk 
around any time of night, pretty much, you know, except the obvious places. Um, I live like right on a river. I can walk to Super Maxi. I can walk into El Centro in 20 minutes. Um, it is very accessible. And it's, there's nature, you know, being in the river and getting around is really easy. Even if you're walking, the buses make it really easy. Cuenca has been growing since I've been here. So there are many more restaurants, decent restaurants than there used to be. More products are available. It's much more of a first world city now than it was three years ago. And so it's like, okay, you know, do I want to sacrifice what that tranquilo is kind of what they call Cuenca, right? Do I want to sacrifice that to live in Medellin where you don't have that? And Manizales, maybe you have to some extent, but it, it's a more modern city. And I actually like the kind of non-modern city energy of Cuenca. Like I didn't appreciate that as much until I went back to another modern city, came back to Cuenca. I was like, oh yeah, this is like, there's no stress here. 